Hi, um, so before we get started, just wanted to share a little bit about who we are. Um, I'm Fee, and I am Mo's mom. <laughs> And uh, this podcast came about because we have some really great conversations um, about her experiences at school and I'm always trying to tell her uh, what I learned from my experience when I was in her shoes and I but things have changed so much that sometimes it's relevant, sometimes it's not. And so we just wanted to be able to share this with you guys and introduce yourself. I'm Mo, a 14 ninth grader in LA <laughs> and what she said. And there you go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fee. And I'm Mo. And this is episode one of How Was School? So, um, let's get it started. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, Mo. How's school been going? Pretty good. This semester, my third period is better than last semester. <laughs> How so? Last semester teacher was my favorite. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but in, um, this year, year, so my, same thing. Um, I'm sitting next to my best friend of eight years. Best friend. You know who it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we love her. Hey, she's, girl. She's great. <laughs> um, okay, wait, wait. So you sit next to your best friend. So y'all talking? Do, I'm doing my work, too. Yep. I, I've been putting... Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll be scared to look at your report. <laughs> like, I'll be legit scared to look at your grades because I don't want to have to fuss. Cause... No, I'm, I, we only had like three assignments so far and I've done all of them. <laughs> okay he like he gave us a folder and we have to like put number the assignments like put the number and they're mm -hmm. all there okay mm -hmm. <laughs> wait this is the dude you said it like doesn't even really assign homework though right yeah he said he doesn't believe in it so when are you getting all his work done in class <laughs> <laughs> I didn't figure out like when he puts the grades though, cause I don't know, cause you like you worry about that. You're like the grades not in. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was freaking out, and it was so close. Well, no, that was a different teacher than that last semester, like before the holidays. Like the <clears throat> they didn't put the grades out until after the holidays. Mm -hmm. So I guess they didn't want any of you, you like, any of your keep their presents. Right. <laughs> they don't want any presents contingent on like your, what your grades are. So it's like we're just gonna hold all the stress to like, after the holidays. It's like just just imagine they have all A's. Right. Until right. after, then he can. Right. Be, no, no. Can... I've met you. You don't have all A's. Yeah. Um. I try. I try. <laughs> so. Today's topic is time management. So, not, did, not my best, not my best skill. <laughs> <laughs> like, tell me, what are some things you struggle with? Like, what's the, what do you think the issue is? Um, most of the time, it's just not wanting, like the feeling of not wanting to do it at all. Okay. And then there's another feeling mm -hmm. where I just, I know I have to do it. But I just like put it off until like I like actually have to do it. So, like it's time. Like oh, so you really have to do it now. Procrastination nation. Yes. <laughs> You're the captain. <laughs> but that and forgetting things. That's one of my best skills. <laughs> Forgetting things? I don't think that's a skill. Don't call that a skill. My best. Don't call that a skill. Best strength. Best strength. My strength is, is strength. <laughs> <laughs> strength. I'm keep. I'm file that one. <laughs> strength is strength. And put that. Put that on my resume. Strength is strengths. Weakest weaknesses. <laughs> okay. So. 
I mean, anything specific? Is it because when you first started the year, you had Spanish mm-hmm. and you were super excited about starting Spanish. And that was the only homework I ever <laughs> caught you doing on your own. Because it was fun. It was I fun. love doing Spanish. It's so cool. Like you still all jazzed about Spanish. Yes. We always you uh, like not use new words, learn new words. Mm-hmm. And it's like so fun. But then the like words that they mean the same thing as this other word in Spanish. It's just like I get them confused. It just says, oh, that doesn't go there. It's this version of it. Just use a bow. I mean, it's like <laughs> bow. It's a different yes. like context. Like this one is for people, this one's for objects. <laughs> so, I mean, I think it's just human that it comes. I mean, you're more driven to do the things that are fun for you to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, how do you combat or get over that hump when it's things you you don't want to do? When it's that thing that you that you know you've been putting off, but you like, okay, this has to get done. Like, how do you? Get Recently, yourself. you told me to like, but you just tell yourself, just do it, just get it over with. Get I've been away. doing that. <laughs> just do it, just That's do my it. favorite thing to say. Like, oh, it's gonna suck now. It's gonna suck later. Just fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just that. Right. Um. Yeah. So, uh, well, I'm happy. Happy that helps. <laughs> every now. <and> then. <laughs> Not every time. My brain is like, listen. Not no. Just <laughs> stop. <laughs> Okay, and you said that you have the, the okay, we covered the feeling of just not wanting to do it. Mm-hmm. What are some things with forgetting? Because that can mess up your whole timeline too, forgetting to get things done. So. <laughs> it just, like, leaves a brain. Like, I hear it, but I don't, like, keep it when I hear it. I don't keep it in my brain. So it just leaves. I mean, like, the, when I get multiple things at once, mm-hmm. I focus on one and then forget the others. Mm-hmm. So I can focus on that one thing. But that ends up messing me up. And then fussing and then <laughs> me just or, getting mad at myself. And then it's like, ah, ah you know? <laughs> Right. And the emails from the teachers. Yeah, like, like, your just, student did not do it. And it's like, but why? And it's like, do I just forget. The binder? I forgot. I'm not supposed to take my human geography book. Just, yeah, I think it's time for you to give that back. You don't have that class anymore, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, <clears throat> but, okay, you told, you just said that's a problem, but yes. what are some things you do to overcome it? <laughs> like, have I over... Come did yet? <laughs> I don't think that's. I don't think that's happened yet. <laughs> well, some of the things that I've shared with you, because it's also an issue that that I deal with. But some of the things I've I've shared with you, and I'm trying to get you in the habit of doing, is writing things down. Because I got, I understand that if I wrote it down, I trust myself that this is what the task is or this is what was handed to me or this is what's next like this is what I need to focus on on my list is what I need to prioritize I wrote it down it's there so not but if I don't write it down and I'm just dependent on my memory those facts are fucked (laughs) like seriously like I cannot trust it's gotten better recently because I write things down so often but like uh maybe a couple years ago if it was I don't know I don't even know how to categorize it it was just some things where I knew straight on I could tell you verbatim what happened I knew exactly what was said when it was said I could tell you what I had on I know what you had on I can tell you every little detail. And it's some things it's like, I have no freaking clue. I don't remember that ever occurring in life. So writing things down. So if I'm walking into a meeting or something, I'm walking, I have a pen and paper in my hand. I have to because 
um, I know me and in knowing yourself, you know that you're not going to retain everything that you hear. So, and that's human. Humans don't retain everything that they hear, that they hear. But we feel like our lack of retention is like, is it subhuman? Superhuman. It ain't human. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we, we have to, because I just feel like my mind's always just, it's always somewhere else that, you know, you've been talking to me. I'm like, oh, wait, I heard you talking, <laughs> but I did not actually hear a word you said. So, yeah. Can you run that back? It's like, oh, if I'm not facing you, I won't realize that you can't hear me. So if I'm just sitting here talking to you and then you're back there, and I'm just like, wait, and I see you on your phone. I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> Right. And I'm like, I, I wasn't listening. Start over from the top. Take it from the top. Okay. So, um, did we cover everything on your, in your notes? What the else? Story. Ooh, okay. The story. Oh, the story. The story. The story. Oh my God. It sort of angered me because of <laughs> somebody. Um, fifth grade, I can't see it. <laughs> in fifth grade, we got this history project we had to do. Where, like, we had to fill out different, like, regions of california but we have to color it and to write something about it mm -hmm. and she said you could do it during the weekend and i don't want to do it like at, on friday because we have an after school program mm -hmm. so i was like oh i'll do it on saturday because that's when i have the most free time mm -hmm. and i wanted to like play with my friends before i don't see them on the weekend and so i told father that mm -hmm. and he was like why did you just do it there so you can have free time on saturday i said but i wanted to do it on saturday and that's why i didn't do it today mm -hmm. Didn't take that well. <laughs> and was it that? I can't remember what happened next, but trouble happened. Trouble and, happened. And then he met us. I guess that I wanted to do it on Saturday. I didn't want to do it on Friday. And it was like, I was still going to do it. Just not today. And but in the end, did you get it done? Yes. Okay. I mean, but you have to also understand. Um, <clears throat> Your dad was a straight A student and he was very, which, um, he was very, do the assignment when it's assigned, get it done and over with. Like he had that in, I don't know, like that internal drive and to just get, you know, to get it done. And so he doesn't understand having a kid that doesn't have that drive to just get it done. Like in my earlier years in, in school, I didn't have to be told to do homework assignments. I didn't even like planners, these fancy planners that all the schools give you now, that wasn't a thing when I was in, when I was that earlier years. So it was like, I think we like wrote, what our assignment was like in the top right hand corner of the notebook page that the assignment was supposed to be completed on. Mm -hmm. And then we completed it. I mean, so I just went, I just went home and I just did it. Like I just sat down. I did it. I had a little desk and chair and I just did it. Like it wasn't an issue. It didn't become an issue and I didn't get slower to completing assignments until I was like eighth, ninth grade. You know, because mm -hmm. I just felt like I just had all the time in the world to get things done. Um, so, but he just, he doesn't understand that. So, of course, it's like, just do it. Get it. You know, like yeah. I say, when I'm dragging my butt out the door to go to the gym, just get it over with. <laughs> like, it's going to be terrible no matter what. So, just get it over but with. But it's not, it wasn't the fact that I didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. It's just like I wanted to just play mm -hmm. after school mm -hmm. like just talk to friends and stuff and I was gonna do it on Saturday like that like I planned it out in my head I was like okay do it on Saturday so they don't get mad I like tell them that and and another thing is is that because we know <laughs> how you operate Saturday would have come and gone mm -hmm. and you wouldn't have done it that's not... if we didn't know if we did not know about the assignment, which is, you know, why 
having your planner checked is a thing so that parents are aware mm -hmm. that you have these assignments to help keep you on task and to um to make sure you adhere to the deadlines and all that stuff so we know that if it wasn't if he had known that you had that assignment on friday he would have made you do it friday but he probably didn't find out until saturday that you had the assignment or too late friday to make you do it so it's like uh yeah, like we were leaving, like, would you pick me up from, like, where the gate is? Mm -hmm. We were, like, right there. We walked to the car. He's like, do you have any homework? I'm like, yeah, we have a project. He's like, did you do it? I'm like, no. I'm going to do it on Saturday. I wanted, said I wanted to do it on Saturday. He's like, why did you do it today? I'm like, because I wanted to do it on Saturday. And then he got mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I get it. I get it. I get both sides of it. But, you know. Yeah. But you got to be honest with yourself and prioritize properly. Do the things that you need to do. Get those done and over with so that you have time to do the things that you want to do. I know I've said that like 900,000 times. <laughs> so, um, yes. Anything else you want to share? No. No? Okay. So, I, um, on the interwebs, I looked <laughs> up just some um, time management tips for teens for kids and this is actually come in handy for adults um so this article i found on huff post is called seven time management techniques for teens and it was written by Tide van Duzer. and so the number one is map out the week so mm -hmm. um you know you know what needs to be done the things that you know are coming throughout the week, plan those out properly. And since you don't know, you know that there's a lot you don't know is coming throughout the week, then maybe get the things that you know are coming knocked out because you don't know what each day is coming. Like I can plan to go to the gym every day of the week, but I don't know that Wednesday, I'm going to end up working late, and when I work late, I don't feel like going to the gym. I want to go home, I want to eat, and get started for the next day. So, because, I, I mean, if I know, if I look ahead, if I check my calendar, my work calendar as much as I should, I would know what's coming up, and I probably would have seen that Wednesday may be a late day. So that, okay. I need to make it to the gym Monday and Tuesday because I'm not going to make it on Wednesday, you know? And I don't know what what's going to happen Thursday. So um, that's one. That's number one. Number two, use calendar updates. So, you know, you have a project coming. Put it in your calendar. Set it to remind you however many days in advance as you need and keep the reminders coming so that it's always top of mind. Um, and I mean, hell, we're all married to our phones nowadays. So, I mean, what better place to keep something like that than on your phone? You know, it's probably going to be in your hand every time the reminder goes off anyway. Um, number three, break big tasks into smaller ones. So that's something, um, I've told you, like just telling you to clean the bathroom, it seems daunting. But then when it's breaking up to first I need to clean the shower, then I need to sweep the floor, then I need to clean the counter. You know, if you just break it up into all these little tasks, then it um, makes it much easier. <clears throat> Number four, prep the night before. I think that goes without an explanation. Also something... I told somebody to do it. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I'm sure every every parent has is like, just pack your backpack the day before. Why is there that. a book on the dining table and then there's a different textbook on the couch? And why is there a textbook in the bathroom? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I'll, I like doing my homework either on the floor or in my bed. So all my stuff will be on my bed. That's when I'm like, okay, I need to use that later. Shh. <laughs> I, 
I always have a dining room table when it's like the lighting in my room. It like makes me mad. <laughs> it's like it's really dark and I can't barely see the paper. <laughs> but I like if all the stuff is on my bed and I'm like I need to use that i like I have then I like okay I have to pack my stuff then I put my back and then I put my back over there because yeah because yeah that's, what, <laughs> that's how we gotta and end then it because like, <laughs> like it's messy and I need to go to sleep and Mm. I'm not gonna sleep on my mm. math mm. textbook. Mm. You know what? I love you so much. You have no idea. Don't um, do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. We're moving right along. Wait, how many were there? Seven. seven. <laughs> I thought you said seventeen. I was like, that's a walk out of the room. <laughs> Like, I've got to stop listening after number eight, I promise you. Um, number five, have a place for everything. And everything in its place. So That's too much work. It's not. I have literally sat down with you, pulled everything out your backpack. We've labeled notebooks. We've labeled folders. I, we've I, organized I, things. This is green like your science book. So... This green folder, this green notebook is going to go with your green science book because science is green. <laughs> okay, your math book is purple for some reason. So this is a purple folder <laughs> and a purple notebook. <laughs> I just like, I label it from like the first notebook I take out of my backpack in the beginning of the year. So like in the beginning of the year, I took out my red notebook and that like I always know my red notebook is for math. Like that's my math notebook. And then I label it on the back of it. So, like, when I go through it, I'm like, oh, Spanish. Oh, math. Mm-hmm. You know? And so. And then. And then. It all falls apart. <laughs> and then. I. It all okay. falls apart. Okay. Things don't go in their place because I don't know why. <laughs> I'll. <laughs> I will. Bad okay. statement. Just to start. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I have the urge to like just get at the class at the class as fast as I can. So I'll, like just put things in my backpack. Like okay, fold this up, put this in the air because it goes there. Put it in my backpack. Go. I don't be like okay, let's take it, let's take it on. Let's put this away so it's the green. No. I gotta get out fast. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed. This is why getting ready the night before. <clears throat> Stops that rush and that tossing everything in your bag the day of. How? Because all my stuff is already in my backpack the night before. But if you put it in there properly the night before. I, it has an order. I have myself in order. <laughs> I have. She has herself in order. Okay. No, 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 no. Like the books, they're in a certain order. So it's mm-hmm. not like making my back all bumpy. Like a small book is in the back. And I'm like, mm-hmm. that hurts. Mm-hmm. It's like a small book. Listen. <laughs> Okay. I have no judgment and I don't like it. No, 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 no judgment. Okay. I'm trying to understand you. <laughs> so, there's like a salary, a salary, a reading book because my English teacher loves to do that. And we have the planner and then we have a workbook. My math workbook because it's smaller than my Spanish workbook. So that goes before my Spanish workbook. <laughs> then there's a folder to divide those between my notebooks and the workbooks <laughs> and then it's like whatever order the notebooks end up in and then and then a binder in the back <clears> if it's number there. six okay see <laughs> you said you wanted to understand i'm, I'm trying. trying to help you <laughs> i'm trying let's just stick a pen in it um yep <laughs> <laughs> whatever book is on my desk and i get like a random worksheet i'll put that in whatever book is there, because it goes with the class. Okay. So I'm like, okay, if so, I need to find that. Real talk. Say. I hear you. You have an order to how things are like organized in your backpack. And it's mainly just for comfort when you're carrying your backpack. But I'm saying yeah. how you come home with a handout and it's scrunched up because you stuck it in your notebook and not in your folder. Okay. I don't use the folder because I'll just put anything in there and then I'll be like, oh, this would, like, 
I'll put everything in there. Like, whatever loose paper is either in my backpack or they give me, I'll put it in there. Like, doesn't matter what subject, just any paper. And then so I'll you, never find it. You won't pull out, like, you get a science handout. This goes in the science folder. You'll just grab any folder. I have one folder. What? Why? Because that's too much stuff in my back. It's going to hurt. Do you want me to have scoliosis? No. But... Exactly. So it's going to stay Yo. <laughs> I hey I towed it around backpack with books and folders and notebooks and stuff. Because you had a locker. We don't have lockers. Good point. (laughs) (laughs) I understand, like trying to keep what you're toting around to a minimum. Okay. Like I took out all my lockers. All the ones. I'm gonna get you a rolling suitcase and everything. Just. I'm going to take that suitcase and I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All my book's going to be on my empty bed. Okay. Um, number six. Number six. Time yourself. So when you get sense of um, how long things really take versus how long you think they take, like your productivity will... Increase. Like, you think <clears throat> when you're told to clean the kitchen, oh my god, this is gonna take like nine hours. It takes like 15 minutes. It's and I'm like, so I'm like, fast. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, so fast. See, exactly. Then, like, I think of like, oh, I have to put those away, I have to rinse those, and I have to wash these, and if some of them need to be rinsed because that's not completely full, I'll put, I mean, I don't do that, but I think it. <laughs> right. I was to say, you just, um, instead of, you have to break it down into a smaller task because you're thinking about, the big job of cleaning the kitchen instead of like I need to put these dishes away, rinse these dishes, wash these dishes, wipe the counters, wipe the stove off, like what? I don't even ask you to sweep the floor because I do that. But like just like looking at it, it looks like so much. So it's just like our kitchen whoa. is like this big. <laughs> no, the dishes make it look like so. I'm not it talking does. about the counters. Yeah, the the dishes. The dishes yeah, it's like it's like why are you? Because it's are you like so many. For it to be like three of us is always like so. Because someone many always makes a bowl of cereal things. or cooks so. something little that goes on this huge plate. <laughs> so good. You barely eat cereal anymore. What? I, lately, I have been killing <laughs> some cereal. Uh, it comes in stages. Oh, it's you. We don't have any milk. <laughs> it was me. Uh, mental note, grocery run when we're done. Um, <laughs> okay, and last but not least, number seven, use Google Docs, which you do already. Do. You don't like it? You guys no, use Google stuff at school. We use Google Classroom. Oh, that's it? You don't use? Unless I, they're like, you can type it or you can write it. I mean, I usually type it because I don't feel like writing my answer. Well, I think this says use Google Docs mainly because... It saves everything. Google saves everything in the cloud. So it's not, <clears throat> this is over here, and then you have to go somewhere else for this. Like, everything can pretty much be found in one place. Google Drive. With Google. Yeah. So that helps when, you know, you do, you working on a document or, I mean, a paper or something for a class as opposed to having to save it locally and then to relying on a flash drive that you will I, definitely lose. I have never used a flash drive. Like, we needed it in a middle school. No. Yeah, I remember you had one, but we you needed, never used it. We needed it in elementary school, too. Sixth yeah. grade. My and science you, teacher. We never I, used he's it. Like, Do you have a flash drive? I'm like, no. Wow. <laughs> he's like, why? I'm like, because it's safe to my drive. <laughs> I don't need the flash drive. I right. Built in dri- flash drive in the computer. <laughs> like, Google Drive is literally a flash drive that you can look up. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, hopefully, some, I mean, some of these you heard already from me being a naggy mom. But, um, there was a, a few things that are, that were new. So, hopefully, these help you or someone else out there. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Uh, yes so that is today yes <laughs> this, this was fun i okay. liked it you liked it okay yeah. yay so there will be an episode too all right have a good day bye
Bye. Tell us some of your time management struggles and ways that you've overcome them down in the comment section or email us um, at howwasschoolpodcast at gmail.com and be sure to give us a thumbs up, share the video and subscribe to our channel. See you again soon.